Well guys, we have reached the end of the Fresh Picked collection, finally. Up next, I have the White Barn collection. I'll be tackling those candles. There are a total of 15 candles. So, I mean, I'll get to those and knock them out. So overall, with the Fresh Picked collection, it's just kind of... Like, my only gripe is that there's no newness and it's just kind of lame and boring. The only scent that I thought would have been, you know, like brand spanking new would have been like blackberry spice. And I was actually brainwaving with a friend of mine on here, the bronze blogger, that's his name. And he basically said what I should have said in my last video. I was going to say it, but I kind of like wrapped it up and didn't say it. But we totally brainwaved and he said that blackberry spice is basically leaves with like heavy, cheap, cloying blackberry notes added, like that artificial, and I totally get it. I went back to smell it again, and I'm like, wow, that's so spot on. So that was a bust. And then you have the, you know, what do you call it, Harvest Coffee, which isn't burning well at all. It's just total, totally not performing well. That one's not good. And then you have, you know, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, that's always great. Farm Stand Apple, that's there and just a bunch of stuff that we've already seen nothing new so that's my only gripe but you know what's new with BBW and I like rambled so let's get on to the review with um, lemon mint leaf so this is a three wick burning in my room of course it's a candle of the week it's excellent so this one says freshly cut lemon balm and spearmint leaves give a refreshing lift to a blend of vetiver and citrus so as you can see flawless excellence this candle is burning like a charm and it does so I mean it's it pretty much has the same makeup as the one from a few months ago so it's a-okay you're witnessing a third day burn of course I burn these candles and just so you know and people that aren't aware of it and you're not really you know I burn these candles on the third day because you know BBW they've been listening to the customers and the fans and actually working on the problem and the problem is, is that when the candles reach mid-range, which is where the candle's at right now, as you can see, the flames get super duper low and the scent dissipates or the wicks will just, you know, shrink to nothing. And it gives you just a bad performing candle. It ends up, it usually, you know, turns out to be a dud. So I burn them at this point just to make sure everything is cool because I figure if I burn them on the first day and everything's, you know, all peaches and cream, you'll get the candle and then burn it yourself and say, well, you know, my candle died, LBD, what would happen? So you don't have to burn it on the third day, but I'm saying, like, for me to review it, I kind of want to get it to the halfway point and then talk about it because stuff does happen. Um, as you all know, the Fresh Picked collection from 2011, which is the pits, you know, you burn, you start, to, you light the candle, and it just dies right then and there. So they've definitely corrected that problem, but a lot of us are facing the same problem of the mid-range crisis, I like to call it. So that's why you see a third day burn. That's why I do it when I do it, just to make sure that everything is cool. And even for myself, too, because, you know, I'm trying to work on buying a million candles I kinda wanna like limit myself to a few maybe like if I love it to de to death maybe like 10 but I wanna make sure I don't wanna be stuck with duds just because I like the scent like if it's a dud I'll pass on it unless it's like blowing me away but so that's why I do what I do and let's talk about it so this is a third day burn the wicks are not thick they're not thin they're the medium sized straw colored wicks I live by these wicks um, the wicks we're in the other lemon mint leaf candle. So if you pre so if you have that one, then you really don't need this one because it's the same thing, like the same makeup, just a different label. If you're like a label person and you love, you know, pretty label, then grab it. But if you have a few from a few months ago, you definitely don't need this one. It's actually a waste of money. It's the same exact thing. Like same burn, same throw, same wick, same everything, same color, same thing. All right, so again, I like forgot where I left off. Okay, so third day burn and talked about the wicks okay so that's set now I lit the candle and then the wax melted and pulled out in about let's say 15 minutes or so and then the throw kicked in like right then and there so everything kind of fell together and kicked into gear for this candle and let's give it about 25 to 20 minutes 20 to 25 minutes top for the full effect the throw just wow it knocked me out I couldn't move I just, I knew where I was. It was crazy strong, so I love that. 
and it was just excellent. And the wax pool, like, got so deep, I wanted to go swimming in it. It was just super deep and super pretty. At nighttime, it looks great, too. It's like an emerald green color. And then, like, the um, unmelted wax is just very, you know, kind of like lime minty green. So it looks really pretty all the way around. That was the first day in the, yeah, the Wix Farm Mushroom Top. So the, if you don't know what that is still, the Mushroom Top is basically, you know, a little ball of soot that forms at the tip of the wick. And when your flint or your wicks have that on there, it basically helps to ensure that the flames are going to get a lot bigger, thicker and wider, giving you a better burn and throw. Hopefully a better throw, but usually a better burn. Um, just burns more smoothly and consistently all the way around. So we're looking good. So first day, second day, third day, repeat step. For, so for the third day, repeat step one and two. It's just been consistently good all across the board. So we're looking pretty good. Now the actual scent. It's like, I'm going to be honest, it's the same thing. But only this time around, I'm getting like, I hate to say this, but I'm getting like a cleaner kind of note from it. But it's pretty much the same like um, lemon balm scent, like spearmint. Um, kind of, sort of gets my eyes watering, but I like that. I feel like when the candle performs like this, I'm getting, you know, the more bang for my buck, and I just feel like it's just great. So, yeah, citrus, of course, you know, lemon, but, you know, it's, it's basically a fresh lemon balm scent, and I think it's excellent. I have about maybe, I don't know, like maybe 10 of them already, so... Again, if you have this one, you don't need the other one. And that's pretty much it. Same old, same old. So thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. You know you have to comment, rate, subscribe. That's a plus. It's a must. It's mandatory. It's always God bless, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.